All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we are going to talk about uh, DJ Moore and him basically saying, listen, he wants to stick with Justin Fields as the quarterback. Uh, He wants the quarterback to be Fields next year for the Bears. So, um, you know, basically he talked about how he thinks that Fields could be, well, is the best, in his eyes, is the best option uh, for the Bears next season. Um, you know, and, and, you know, the article that I was looking at, yeah, DJ Moore has dealt with a lot of quarterback changes. I mean, you go back and you look at, you know, his time in Carolina. I mean, had Sam Darnold, you had Baker Mayfield, uh, Kyle Allen, Cam Newton, uh, PJ Walker. Um, am I miss, I'm, I'm trying to think of who else. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a lot of, a lot of quarterbacks that, DJ Moore had to, uh, you know, get the the ball thrown to him from. And, um, you know, now he gets traded to Chicago. He puts together a, a really good first season with them. And now all of a sudden there could be a quarterback change. And, you know, he doesn't want that. He definitely doesn't want that. And, I mean, listen, he's back in his quarterback. I mean, Justin Fields, I talked about last week that Justin Fields wants to stay in Chicago, but he knows it's a business and he just wants it all to be uh, to be over. But, you know, again, this is up to the Bears and what they're going to do. They're going to have the final say. But, yeah, DJ Moore, solid season with the Bears, his first season with the Bears, 96 receptions for 1,364 yards and eight touchdowns. Um, yeah, played really well. I mean, even this year, though, when Fields got hurt, Tyson Bajan was the quarterback, you know, during, uh, during a couple games. So, pretty much on both teams, he's had to deal with that. But, um, you know, and, and he also, uh, but yeah, he basically talked about the chemistry, you know, with Fields. And, um, you know, listen, he just wants, he wants stability there. He wants, you know, consistency. And, you know, if the Bears end up trading fields and bringing in a different quarterback, then he's got to start over and build the chemistry with the new quarterback. The Bears also do have another top 10 pick. Now, what they decide to do with that pick remains to be seen. They could add another weapon, which I've said that, if they're able to do that, because you have some wide receivers there that you could go with. Um, You know, he did mention Marvin Harrison Jr. as a potential draft target. Now, again... You know, the Bears could take him, Marvin Harrison Jr., with the number one overall pick, and then, you know, we'll see what they end up doing, you know, with the, I think they have the eighth or ninth pick. Um, I mean, I don't know if they're going to do that, but they probably end up, you know, it's either they're going to trade fields or they're going to trade the pick. But if they end up doing both, that's just, they should not do that. I think that would be silly to do that. But it's, it's on the table. It's possible. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, I, I I get where DJ Moore is coming from, but ultimately it's going to be up to the bears. What are they going to do? Are they going to, you know, they'll stick with fields or they trade the, or they, uh, they draft a quarterback. It's, it's gotta be one of those two things, you know, it can't just be, you're going to do both. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, listen, they had a nice connection this year. Um, and you know, he wants to... Be, I think they both want to build off of that, you know, going into next year. I mean, the Bears, listen, they, you know, they start... They started off flat. I, I mean, it looked like they were going to finish with one of the worst records in the NFL. And, you know, credit to them. They ended up finishing the season 7-10. and 10. I feel... I, I think I might have said they finished 8-9 and nine before. But, yeah, they ended up finishing 7-10. and 10. Yeah, I mean, you know, you start off... You lose to the Packers, the Bucks. You get blown out. That would, see, this was an ugly. This was a really ugly loss. Well, I mean, the Packers thirty-eight to twenty was ugly, but losing forty-one to ten, that was that was really bad. Then they had the lead against the Broncos. They blew that, but then they picked up their first one of the season. That's when things, I guess, somewhat started to turn around. And I actually, I think Fields then. Yeah, no, then Fields got hurt the following week. The following week against the uh, the Vikings. Um, but yeah, Fields had four touchdowns, no interceptions. DJ Moore had eight receptions for 230 yards and three touchdowns. That was his breakout game. Um, actually, we'll take a look at all his stats from the uh, from the season. Well, individual games, but yeah, I mean, 
you know, the first game, two receptions for 25 yards, then got involved, more involved, six receptions for one for 104, three for 41 in the touchdown against the Chiefs, uh, eight for 131 against the Broncos in a touchdown. Then, again, had eight receptions for 230 yards and, and uh, three touchdowns against the Commanders. Um, you know, I mean, he put together he put together a solid season. Um, you know, that was a good trade for the Bears. Um, you know, and, and listen, I, I think right now they're in a position where they could be a decent team next year. And I think it's really, I think really it's going to all come down to what, what ends up happening at the quarterback position. Because if they keep Justin Fields and Justin Fields goes out there and plays really well, you know, or if, the, you know, they draft a rookie quarterback and he ends up playing well with the supporting cast he has around him, you know, the Bears could be a team that's, you know, I would say, I would say they could definitely compete for a wild card spot. You know, and I don't think that's crazy to say, especially with how the conference is. Um, I still kind of like the Packers. I, I still like the Packers, the Lions, and, you know, if a healthy Kirk Cousins comes back, I like all those teams in their division better than the Bears. Um, but, again, that's just me. So we'll just have to, you know, again, wait and see what ends up happening there. But, yeah, I mean, who's to say this team can't compete for a playoff spot? They definitely can. You know, I, I mean, if you can add another pass catcher to go along with DJ Moore, with Cole Komet, and you got some decent running backs there with Khalil Herbert, Roshan Johnson, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I think this team uh, and the defense imp was improving. I mean, this team, I think, can be, you know, underrated next year. But, again, they finished the season strong. Well, except when they lost to the Packers at the last game of the year. But, still, I, I, I mean... Compared to how they started, they definitely looked like a different team. And there's definitely a couple of games that they, I mean, they lost to the Browns. That game they could have won. Um, you know, I mean, they did only lose to the Packers by a score. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, listen, a couple games could have went their way. You know, and their record could have been better. But, you know, again, momentum, you know, it, it's it doesn't really carry over into the next season. Next year is a new year. So, you know. They just can't afford to start off slow. Um, you know, I mean, bringing back Matt Eberflus, you know, this is going to be a big year for him. And, you know, we'll see if, you know, the Bears end up, you know, taking the next step. But this is, I mean, this is a really big decision that they have on their hands. Because you got the one, number one overall pick. And you got Justin Fields, who you could either keep or trade. It's, you know, it's one or the other. So, uh, and, and listen, I know Fields hasn't been, you know, great. Um, I mean, I would say he's a better runner than he is a passer. Um, because, I mean, you know, the rushing yards, I mean, in 2022, he was off the charts there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, look, his three seasons, you know, 1,800 yards passing, seven touchdowns, 10 interceptions, you know, 2022, 17 touchdowns to 11 interceptions, and then 16 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. And he missed some time. He missed some time. Um, you know, he played in 13 games in 2020. Or, well, yeah, in 2023, 2022, he played in 15 games. Uh, he played in 12 games in 2021. Uh, I just want to look up the uh, the rushing yards. Um, if I can find it, because I have his... Uh, this football reference page up. Okay, of course. But, you know, I mean, th that's the thing, though. Like I said, you look at his rushing yards, and, again, he was unbelievable, you know, doing that. It's just, but you got to be able to throw the football, too. Um, but, you know, I mean, we'll see, um, you know, what ends up happening. Uh, again, it's a big decision that's coming up. Um Oh, yeah, so here we go. These are his rushing stats. So he had so he had 1,100 yards rushing in 2022. He only had 420 rushing yards in uh, 2021. And then he had 657 in 2023. He had eight rushing touchdowns in 2022. Um, yeah, so he, um, you know, obviously he did miss some time due to injury. 
so that factored in. But um, yeah, I mean, 2022, he was, you know, a lot of big runs he had. I mean, against, the, I mean, you go to a couple games. I mean, against the Lions, he had big runs. Uh, the Dolphins game, um, you know, against the Lions. There, there are some games you can go back to where he, uh, you know, he really, um, you know, had some big runs. Um, you know, but obviously, again, you want him to improve as a passer. And, you know, they went out and got DJ Moore, and that helped. But, again, I mean, he, the, the you know, the touchdown interception ratio is not really that good. You know, you want to see that improve. Um, so, but, again, I mean, it could be elsewhere. He could go to Atlanta. You know, he could go to Pittsburgh. He could go to, you know, there's other teams that he can end up on next year. It might not be necessarily with the Bears. So, you know. That's something that, again, is going to be talked about for, for weeks until it, something actually happens. Um, I mean, again, I'm not sure what the Bears... I mean, I guess, like, on one hand, it could be good from a financial standpoint because, again, you're, you know, drafting a rookie quarterback. You have him under a rookie deal, you know, for more years now as opposed to Fields who's, you know, getting close to the end with that. Um, because eventually you, you you know you have to come to a decision on whether you're gonna pay Fields if you end up keeping him with a rookie quarterback you're resetting the clock there, but then on the other hand it's like you know what DJ Moore's talking about you know it's you got you already got chemistry you got that rapport you know and now you're gonna have to figure it out again which I mean again I know it, it talks about how um you know he's been with a lot of different quarterbacks. I mean, this should be no different. You know, you could get used to playing with the new quarterback. So, you know, it, it's, again, I know there's some adjustments that you know, he has to, would have to go through if they end up, you know, changing quarterbacks, but you're going to have to do it, you know, if they, if they end up doing it because the Bears are going to have the final say. And, it's, listen, it's a big, it really is a big decision. But, I mean, if you trade that pick and you get, like, a major haul for it, you know, like, and you just continue to build around fields. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I just feel like, I feel like Matt Eberflus might not be the right guy. You know, I, 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 I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, fields, like, he hasn't been spectacular, you know, since he, you know, first started. Like I said, you know, the rushing yards, that's been different, but... You know, throwing the football, you want to see more. Um, so, again, we'll just have to, again, that's just another thing that we'll have to, you know, just wait and see on. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's, I mean, let me know what you guys think about this. DJ Moore talking about Justin Fields. Again, this is something that's going to be continued to talk about until a, a final decision, you know, ends up being made. But, um, with that, we are going to take our final break of the show. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about another quarterback, and that is uh, Derek Carr and the Saints reworking uh, his contract. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 